everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft, and it is the last Tuesday of the month, and that means I'm using up some scraps. So um, I've got a couple, well, a couple, two pieces of pattern paper that I have used before this month. So you might have seen that. I might have done it. I don't know if I did it in a process video. I think you saw it in a layout share. I don't know. I've used them before, and I only used a little bit because I used, uh, I cut triangles out of the corners. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put these pattern papers together to create a 12 by 12. And of course, there's that little section there where I just didn't have enough to overlap. And so I'm just going to add another piece of 12 or of pattern paper to cover that up. So it kind of creates like a, a border between these two patterns. So there's a lot of patterns going on in this background. The um, lightning bolt pattern is an older Chamel collection. The pattern paper in the middle is Chamel main character energy. And the striped paper is a doodle, a, ooh, doodle bug collection. No. Um, oh, who makes the, um, the, the, the gnomes, the, is that, is that echo park? No photo play. It's photo play. I don't like the gnomes. I don't, I don't get it. I, they're just mm, like, fine. Put a gnome in your yard. Okay, great. But like on my scrapbook papers, it doesn't do it for me. So that's cool though. If you like the gnomes, I like more just like generic patterns and bright colors and fun stuff. And um, But if you like the gnomes, you do you. I'm just not going to buy those collections or buy those papers if it has the gnomes in it because I just don't get them. So now it just comes down to like layering stuff up. So I'm grabbing items from my scrap bag. I have a 12 by 12 plastic bag where I'm just throwing all my scraps in so that anytime I want a scrapbook just with scraps, I can go to that bag and everything is organized. Well, I guess it's sort of organized. They're all in the same bag, but everything is right there where I need it. So I've got a couple of them, um, some blah, 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 black and sort of white uh, stripes. I've got that sort of floral black piece of pattern paper. Um, there's also some cut aparts from the main character energy collection and then some tags from a simple stories collection. Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm just layering things up. And honestly, this was inspired by a Chamel layout that she did for the month of October. I wrote, I, I made sketches of all of her sketches so that I could play along without having to, you know, I don't always have time to sit and watch her full live scraps on YouTube, but I do go in to the videos and I sketch out her sketches. So this was one of the sketches, basically. She only had two backgrounds for her pattern papers, um, obviously mine is, looks a little more like three because that, that border is kind of wider than, you know, like a piece of washi tape, but it's still the same idea of like bisecting the, the page with these two patterns. And then I'm taking a single photo as she did, and then just layering things up behind it, layering up all those papers. You can kind of just go wild depending on what scraps you have in your stash, um, and just kind of let that guide you as you start layering things up. And basically what I like to do, I like to figure out the placement of everything, maybe th bring in a few embellishments so I can get an idea of where I want the embellishments to go. But then before I, I go too far in with the embellishments, I need to like stick everything down. So I, I just carefully go in try my best not to move things too much if I can and um, and put the the adhesive behind it. That's why I like using, I think I've said this before, I like using the double-sided adhesive squares because I don't have to move, pick up anything really, although I just picked that up, but I really don't have to pick anything up and move it. Um, I can just, you know, take the adhesive off and stick my finger up behind it and, and stick that on and, and then it's done. Whereas with an ATG, you're you need to like press down hard and get the adhesive out and you can't carefully lift up corners of things and use that. That's my reasoning for why I'm not an ATG fan. Um, also, I'm doing some foam dots because I like to add a little bit of extra dimension. I don't have a lot of 3D embellishments as part of this collection left over. 
I've used a lot of the embellishments from the main character energy collection, which is that what that happy story is from. So I'm going to just you know, make my own things by popping them up, whether they are flat stickers or the die cut pieces. Um, I took a little bit off that tag, um, that orange tag, and I stuck it behind there to add just a little bit of extra layering. I've got a sticker word that says yes. I've got another um, die cut piece that says be yourself up at the top. And then I'm doing something down at the bottom as well. I think it says star. Um, this was a photo of my daughter. Not a great quality photo because my husband took it and posted it on Facebook. And then I downloaded it from Facebook. And sometimes when I download from Facebook, everything's totally fine. And other times it ends up just not being that great quality. But I printed it anyway, so no big deal. And it's a photo at a women's, bas women's college basketball game. And it was a it was Girl Scouts day or something. And so we signed up and uh, she got a t-shirt and we took a picture and it was pretty cool. There will be more photos from this event coming up. I'm still scrapbooking my February 2023 photos. So that's when this was taken. So, but I have a lot of photos. I don't have a lot of like single story photos. Everything is pretty much like this needs to be a two pager or you got to get creative to put all these photos on a single page. So, um, I, I did place an order with uh, scrapbook.com. So I'm going to have my first haul video in a couple months coming up next month, which is really exciting. Sneak peek. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. And so then I'll be able to hopefully do a little bit more with two pagers and stuff like that. So that's what's on tap for November. Like I said, if you are subscribed to the channel already, thank you for subscribing and you'll be notified. You'll see all my videos pop up in your subscriptions feed. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so if you want to see more process videos from me throughout the month. I do one every Tuesday and I also participate in different challenges and hops throughout the month. So I'd love to have you come be part of the online scrappy community and also follow me on all my social media channels. I don't say that a lot, but they're all linked down below in the description box. I'm very active on Instagram. Um, so definitely follow me there so you can see all the wild and crazy things that I get up to that are not scrapbooking related, but might still be fun and, um, fun for you to look at. So yeah, just follow me. Let's be friends. Let's be social media friends. All right. Just finishing up a few little embellishments here. Some of those enamel stickers from the main character energy collection to fill out my embellishment clusters. Here are the close-ups. You can see things in a little bit more detail. And I look forward to scrapbooking with you guys again next week. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you then. Bye.